Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. I am the guy who runs Snitch Beach Studios. I usually post short films and documentaries on this channel. But uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to attempt to do a review on a movie I just watched that I liked a lot. So I hope you enjoy this. So I just saw Everything Everywhere All at Once, directed by the filmmaker duo Daniels, and it was fantastic. I'm not really sure where to begin with this review because this film has a lot to unpack. Everything from the action to the story to the comedy and the characters is all executed so masterfully. The cinematography is beautiful. It takes things like an IRS office or a laundromat and makes it look gorgeous. I really like the way they present the multiverse in this. The editing is very unique and a fresh take on the concept. It's confusing at first, but as the film goes on, we understand it more and the action can be as batshit crazy as it wants. The fighting in this film is excellent, brutal, and hilarious. The absurdity builds as the film goes on. Each fight scene was more complicated and wacky than the last. The fight scenes are extremely well shot and choreographed with the camera barely cutting. There were multiple times when I'd hear someone in the theater to say, holy shit, or what the f***. I really appreciated how much practical effects there were. There were like blood squibs and confetti and just really well choreographed scenes. Michelle Yeoh gives a fantastic performance that's hilarious and emotional and real. It feels very real, which I like. The rest of the cast do an amazing job with what they're given as well. Kehu Kwan gives one of the best performances I've seen in a while. Not only does he do his own stunts in this film, but he's also juggling multiple personalities from different dimensions. So, one scene he'll be this timid bilingual husband, and then in the next scene he'll be this expert on multiverse theory and uh, expert martial artist and just overall a badass. He was really fun to watch. All the characters are very distinct in the way they dress and look, and anytime someone opens their mouth, the comedic delivery is perfect. I mean, even the daughter's girlfriend feels very fleshed out, despite only having a few lines of dialogue. And uh, everybody talks over each other, and uh, they stutter, they murmur, and uh, it all flows together very well. Another thing that surprised me about this movie was that despite all the action and complicated sci-fi elements and uh, absurdist comedy, the film really centers around the relationship of a mother and a daughter. Scenes with Michelle Yeoh and Stephanie Shaw were very realistic and uh, emotional and personal. And it was a real stark contrast from all the weird and wacky shit that we saw previously in the movie. I was also surprised that the film tackled heavy subjects like nihilism and existentialism and change and acceptance. But it didn't feel preachy at all, it didn't take itself too seriously, it was just a perfect blend of comedy and drama. The movie theater that I was in was packed, and everybody was laughing super hard at all the crazy, absurd stuff that was happening in it, and they were very quiet when the more dramatic and emotional stuff happened, which uh, was uncomfortable, but also fascinating to watch. And at the end of the movie, after the final shot and the title card, people stayed in their seats and watched the credits. I've never seen a movie do that to people. Like, these weren't even film buffs who, like, would go to some obscure movie theater to watch a Lynch film. These were regular people. These were couples on dates and old people and families who wanted to watch something and just typical regular moviegoers. And they sat and watched the base credits. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was a very strange and very interesting experience. I've never seen a movie do that. Overall, this was a pretty great movie, probably one of the most hilarious and original and creative sci-fi films I've seen in a long time. I encourage anyone who listens to this to go watch it in theaters, because you will have a good time. I can't wait to see what these filmmakers come up with next. So I'm going to give this film a 9 out of 10.